Welcome back, friends. Once again, we're diving into the depths of Steam. This time around, we are looking at those rare gems. Games with reviews so positive, they're overwhelming. Today, we're looking at the most well-known, but in later episodes, we'll look at games that you might not have heard of. These are all games on Steam with an overall rating of overwhelmingly positive. Let's begin. No list of games with an overwhelmingly positive rating can begin without Psychonauts. Made by Double Fine Entertainment and coming from the mind of Tim Schafer, the mastermind of quirky comedy who helped bring us Maniac Mansion, The Curse of Monkey Island, and Grim Fandango, it's a game about kids training to become psychic super spies. The game didn't do so well in its initial launch, but has since become a cult classic, and a sequel is finally on the way. It was announced at the 2015 Game Awards, with a planned release sometime this year. Next up is Undertale. Unless you've been living under a rock for the past few years, you've heard of this game at least once. Developed entirely by Toby Fox using Game Maker Studio, which is available on Steam, it follows the adventures of a child in an underworld filled with monsters. You can choose to kill every enemy you meet, or make friends with them, and your choices really do matter and directly affect the story. Back in 2015, this game got a lot of attention and won a lot of awards. Its soundtrack, also composed by Toby Fox, is a mix of beautiful orchestral and 8-bit chiptunes. Visual novels are really hot on Steam right now. Probably one of the most popular is the Nico Para franchise. It is a romantic comedy about cute cat girls working in a bakery and trying to win the heart of their master. While people focus mostly on the sexual imagery, these interactive stories became so popular because they put storytelling first. This genre of interactive media dominates in Japan because of the quality of their writing, and Steam has been instrumental in introducing these titles to Western audiences. Finally, we come to Life is Strange, produced by Don't Nod Entertainment and published by Square Enix. Described as more of an experience than a game, Life is Strange tells the story of a young teenage girl with time-controlling powers in an episodic tale of love, loss, friendship, and sacrifice. Like Undertale, this game came out of nowhere, but once gamers got their hands on it, they soon discovered it was unlike anything they've ever played before. This franchise went on to win several awards, and it received a sequel the first episode is free on Steam right now. And there you have it, four of the most well-known titles on Steam with the highly coveted, overwhelmingly positive rating. Next time we'll look at games you might not have heard of before. There's plenty of bad games on Steam, asset flips and games so bad they can barely be called games. But there are also games that are amazing and really need more attention than they're getting. So in future episodes, we'll look at those games that should be getting more attention. Until then, my friends, keep gaming, and I'll see you next time. Are you sick of all the drama in gaming social media? Then come on over to the official Gamers Bay community in Google+, where a fun, safe, and drama-free community. Links are found in the video description. If you like this video, please like, favorite, and subscribe. Also, here's a couple other videos you might find interesting.